Welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications using ArcGIS. This week we're going to do a technique called unsupervised classification. And the basic idea behind unsupervised classification is we use a clustering algorithm to group pixels that have similar spectral values. So in this example we have our original Landsat 8 sensor image from September 15th, 2013, and then we basically have an algorithm which clusters together pixels that have similar spectral values. So that would give us something called spectral classes, where these pixels in this area all have similar spectral values, and these pixels in this area all have similar spectral values. Okay, so the next step would be to group these spectral classes into land cover classes. And to guide us in that grouping, what we'll do is create something called a dendrogram. And a dendrogram will be a map of what classes are similar to each other. So here's an example of a dendrogram, and basically we have on this axis spectral similarity. So as we go from left to right, the spectral similarity decreases. So for example, spectral classes three and two, they're grouped at a spectral similarity at this level. So they're spectrally very similar to each other. And spectral classes five and four, they are spectrally similar to each other. So basically we could say, okay, well spectral classes two, three, four, and five they may be one group belonging to one land cover class. So we'll use this dendrogram to guide us in terms of decisions for each spectral class, what land cover class does it represent. And then we could color code our spectral classes to the same colors that we use for our land cover classes, and we might get something like this. And in this case, we do a pretty good job in terms of mapping land cover, except for one class, which is a mixed class of open water and spruce. So I'll color code that in red. Okay, so all the pixels that are in red are in the same spectral class. And you can see that some of those areas are spruce forest and other areas are water. So if we zoom in, Here's some gravel pits that are open water, and they're classified to be that spectral class. But then we have lots of areas here that are black spruce, and they're also in that spectral class. So that's what's called a mixed spectral class. So our next step would be to take all those pixels in the mixed spectral class, and for those pixels, we'll run a second unsupervised classification. So after running our second unsupervised classification, we succeed in separating those that mixed spectral class into two pure spectral classes. So the blue pixels represent water, the green pixels represent black spruce forest. So then we'll combine our second unsupervised classification with our original to come up with our land cover classification. So here's our original color of red satellite image, and then here is our land cover classification that we created using unsupervised classification. And then the final step is we'll do an accuracy assessment. And last week we used ground truth points. This week we'll actually use pixels that were created from ground truth points, so single pixels. So for example, here is a single pixel representing the true location of Bradley Forest. And here is a single pixel representing the true location of Spruce Forest. So basically we're going to use the, that truth raster to come up with the estimated classification accuracy of our unsupervised classification. So we have our true land cover as columns in our error matrix and we have the classes for predictions so one in our example will be turbid water two will be clear water three will be broadleaf forest four will be spruce forest 
five will be shrubland, and six will be unvegetated or barren. And then basically along the diagonal are our correct predictions in our land cover classification. Okay, so that's what we're going to do this week. And if you go to the Blackboard website, the first two video sessions are there available for you to use.